Hey there, everybody. I'm Cody Allen. I'm so excited to be here today in this historic red barn. I'm super excited to introduce this superstar of country music next, award winner, hit maker, and so much more. She is Martina McBride. Good to see you, Martina. Good to see you too. We've made our way to a literal red barn. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> so when it comes to sort of storytelling in country music, why is that aspect so important to what you do? Because I think it makes it relatable. You know, and, and the difference I think between country music and, and pop music um, is that it's really pretty literal. It's really like conversation. And I love songs that feel like, you know, we're sitting down talking, this is what I would say to you. And I feel like that's why people relate to it so much. And then, you know, the story songs, just paint a picture. I love the visual, like you said, the visuals of country music and, and a really great song when you can just picture it. And, you know, I always think of the song, The Grand Tour by George Jones. I mean, I can just see him walking through that house, you know, and, and that's just one of many songs that I, that I feel that way about. And I think that's really a common thread in country music. Speaking of great visuals, we have plenty here today. So um, it is great. Uh, take me back to the farm in Kansas, though. What was life like growing up? Life growing up was, we had a lot of freedom, which I didn't realize at the time. But you know, my kids grew up in a city and it's totally different. We, we, my brother and I had bikes and in the summer we would get on our bikes in the morning and ride out in the country all day long. And it was just really, um, just free. When I think about growing up on the farm in Kansas, I think about space. Right. And still when I go back there, um, it's like you can just see for miles the horizon and it's, it's just this wide open space that I really, I miss that, you know. How has that upbringing influenced your music? Being around country music all the time when I was growing up has influenced my music. I didn't know any other kind of music existed <laughs> until I got to be, you know, old enough to understand like what my older brother and sisters were, were playing. So growing up around country music all the time, the radio, whatever was popular radio, my dad's, my dad was a huge Waylon Jennings fan. And then, you know, playing in a cover band when I was a teenager, so covering Reba, Juice Newton, um, just Patsy Cline, you know, all those great old songs. Are those, obviously all of those great women are influences, are they right at the top? Do you know how when you're a certain age and you discover an artist and you just become obsessed with them? For me, that was Linda Ronstadt. Okay. And so when I was about 14, probably, I discovered her and just was like, in awe, like I wanted to, I wanted to sing like that. I wanted to be able to hold the notes out. I wanted to have the nuances and the, the um, tone and hit the notes. I wanted to just so I just would go home after school to the farm and I would be in my bedroom and I would put on all my Linda Ronstadt records and I would just sing for hours. Would you believe that my first concert? was Linda Ronstadt. No way. Yes, true. Oh my gosh. So I remember vividly going to the Carolina Coliseum in South Carolina, uh, Columbia, where I grew up. My dad was a huge music influence on me. Mm -hmm. And so he loved Linda Ronstadt too. So wow. I totally got that passed down to me. And so I remember seeing her sing, It's So Easy to Fall in Love and so many great songs. I hear, by the way, Linda Ronstadt's influence in your music. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much. When I hear Wrong Baby Wrong. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, were you channeling a little Linda Ronstadt? A little Ronstadt bit, right? yeah. Okay. I kind of always am, probably. But I, I'm not jealous, but I mean, I just I wish I, I never got to see her live. So that's really? lucky you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's talk about the future of country music a little bit. Where do you think we're going now? You know, I think country music is always going to be a changing thing. I, I do hope and believe that it will keep the, the tradition traditional part of it in there somewhere. I mean, I had a radio and a record player. You know, they have uh, videos and YouTube and all the socials and everything. So they really get exposed to a lot of different kinds of music. So that, of course that's gonna creep into their, um, to their music and to their creativity. So I hopefully, you know, it's gonna stay fresh and, and engaging, but also keep what made it so special in the first place. What do you think sets country music apart from other genres? the heart of it, you know? I feel like it is relatable. It's about real life for a lot of people. And um, and it makes people feel like they're not alone. I always say that that's the, my favorite thing about singing a song is I feel like when people feel like somebody understands what they're going through, they, you know, we've all done it. We've all heard a song and went, oh my God, that's my song. Like they understand that's exactly how I feel. And I think that's what really sets country music apart. Great seeing you, Martina. Thank you so much for the conversation. Really appreciate you being here. Always great seeing you. Thank you to the amazing Martina McBride. We hope you had a great time with us here at the Red Barn Sessions presented by Country Croc. See you next time.